if you watched my last video, uh, which apparently not a lot of you did, I talked about Colin Montgomery Baker and his connection to Bloomberg, Texas, and the Patterson family. Well, boys and girls, the family civil war chest has been located, and I've learned some really cool things about the controversy surrounding Baker's life, how he was executed, taken down to Jefferson for the reward money, and the family's involvement in all that. So there were at least five books written about Baker. Uh, there may have been a few more, not sure, but all somewhat contradicted each other. Uh, Louis L'Amour's book glamorized him as a gunfighter. Others made him out to be evil, and there was actually a movie made about him in Mexico around 1972. Um, my Spanish is not so great, but I think it also glamorized him as a hero. And coincidentally, this was the same time that the Colin Baker Country Fair started in Bloomberg, um, and that fair ran from the early 70s through 2000. Um, hopefully it'll start again in 21. Like I said, there are conflicting accounts of Baker's morality. In Texas, he was generally thought of as a hero of the Confederate cause and a Robin Hood type figure, while he was hated pretty much everywhere else. I believe this is a picture of Jesse James. Not, it's definitely not Colin Baker. That's Wikipedia. Um, so Baker left the Confederate Army to join a militia under the Confederate Home Guard, and apparently Quantrell was one of his friends, and they did some things together. Um, not sure of the whole story behind that. Hoping to find out. The story surrounding his death and the family's involvement is obviously way too long to cover in this video. Um, but please like and subscribe if you want to learn more in the future. Which brings us to the ten type picture itself, which is potentially a one of one and only known photo of Colin Baker. Now, he had very close ties to Bloomberg, which that's where he was killed and Bright Star, Arkansas, uh, both of those towns, the Patterson family and their friends essentially established. Um, so there's certainly provenance, and it would make sense that it would be in a Patterson Civil War chest. Um, I believe this particular picture is a daguerreotype, which is one of the earliest versions of a tintype photo used from the 1830s to around 1860. Um, since there are no known pictures of Cullen Baker, this one will definitely be tough to authenticate. Um, I know that when he was killed, he had four pistols on him, and at least one of those ended up in a Texarkana storefront, uh, but that was decades ago. Um, so maybe like with some other outlaws and gunslinger photos and ten types that have been found, uh, maybe he can be authenticated by his pistol. I know it's a long shot. Or he could just be another random outlaw or maybe a family member holding a pistol for a picture like to find out either way if you have any information or just want to comment please do so below again like and subscribe if you want to stay updated on what we find and bye for now